Keep California Cowgirls from vanishing. Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Training our horses and miniature cows in ranch versatility. Penny, Rusty and Susie, our bull and heifer. Roping Rusty with Morgan Horse, Sammy. Training Eve to drive cart. Training Eve to work over her haunches with a motor cow simulator. Training Eve to lay down. Training Eve to harness, pull a log. Training Semi to harness, pull a log on turf. Jumping at liberty to music, making our Morgan horses our partners. Training Eve on a cow roping simulator. Training on our driveway, which is covered by sand, so we have a straight track. Stepping over poles, jumping over crossbar jumps. Training in our trail obstacles area. Semi on the big steps. Morgan Horse Sadie doing obstacles rainlessly. Semi drives a cart. Sadie pulls a log. Sadie learns to pull a cart. Miniature Zebu Heifer Susie learns to drive a cart. Bull Rusty learns to pull a harrow. This is a continuation of part one where the farrier is investigating Morgan Mare Sadie for a possible abscess. No, no real fluctuation. She went down one week, but... That is odd. Well, you know those tapes, I mean, I, I don't right. believe they really tell you the weight at all. Right. But it is a good way to check from day to day or week to week. Yeah, I do, I do it in the same spot every mm -hmm. time. Yeah. In fact, it, yeah. the other horses are losing um, according to the tape. So. Right. If so it, if she's losing, you probably do it right behind the armpits here. Right, I take it from the armpits back around the heart girth, around yeah. the bump, and then from. So if she's it. losing weight, she's losing it in the fanny or way back in her tummy, way yeah, think, back I in the flanks. Yeah, I think this is going down a little bit. This was about out here yeah. a couple weeks ago. So if she's losing fun. weight, she's losing it back and not front. Yeah, but she's definitely got some still pretty yeah. flabby areas. Yeah. I think part of what contributed to Eve's weight loss was not eating for three or four days. Oh, when she was not good, yeah. But sounds like has been. Somebody's also getting more exercise. Right. Okay, now I'm gonna do this with Lawrence here. Do you think I should use the whole pad? Yeah. No, I don't. You cut it in half. A quarter maybe? of it, yeah. Okay. We're going to cut it. Do you have a scissors or a knife? Because uh, it seems a little too bulky. I'd say maybe, what, about a quarter of the size of the bottom of the hoof? Are you okay. Gonna, is that, is yeah, that's what Gene and I were thinking yesterday, a third or a quarter. Yeah. Okay. And cover the hoof and a little bit up the heel. Okay, now first I have to... I have a pail of hot water here. I have to soak it. And that brings the poultice that's impregnated in it out, from my understanding by reading the instructions. Mm, I liked having that uh, towel. Did oh, you, you want that? Yeah. Let's try to keep it as clean I as was possible. I was just seeing if that... Um when I picked up the other foot, if that helped her any, but she she was still leaning back. 
Okay, when saturated, gently squeeze out excess water. Position poultice. Plastic backing away from animal. So here's the critical time. Okay. Plastic backing is touching my hand right now. And I'm assuming the poultice now is on the other side, even though I don't see it. Lawrence is cleaning off the area. And we need that wrap. Lawrence, do you mind putting it under her hoof? Yeah, pl your plastic backing is on your hand side. Yeah, it's got some pretty good heat to it now that it's damp. And here's the vet wrap. I'll get it started for you. I actually prefer to use 3M because it's generally easier to start. You see it sticks to itself. I'm having a little trouble, but Lawrence will probably do it. And I have tons of vet wrap. So don't worry about trying to save it, but you see how he's starting at the ball at the heel. Sadie's actually being pretty good about standing. I'm pleased about that. Now, uh, should we use cotton in addition? Yeah, I, I'm d doing that more for um, protection in case it's just bruising. This is working on an abscess. Okay. Um, now, Kristen said something about using cotton up here so it doesn't get too tight above her hoof. Uh, has she seen your boots? Because she might be thinking about the old easy boots, those things. Um, Oh. They would cut in up there and make the horse sore, and then you get faked out about what you're worried about. Those have a pretty nice wrap to them, so. Ryan, can you look down at these again so it's understood what we're talking about? Because you know, as soon as this program is uploaded, I send a link to Kristen and the one to Lawrence and anybody else who, uh, and I upload it on my website. You know, anybody else who has questions about this kind of procedure? Yeah, you might be able to skip the cotton for today. That's pretty cushy, really. Yeah? Yeah, that's... Well, then the boot, the, this boot will fit. Yes. I believe, because it fit last night with uh, my plastic bag full of mag paste. Yeah, okay, big girl. Stand up. Wait, I'll give you some paper towel. Uh, let's uh, clean out the boot. It's got some of the mag paste in it, right? But it wouldn't hurt. See, the idea, Lawrence, is just to heat. Heat is going to bring that abscess out if it's in if there. If there's an abscess, yeah, and they tend to crawl towards the heel, which is the softest tissue is back at the bulbs, and they, they blow out there on their own, which is the same way Mother Nature would do it, just that you're adding some heat to it, which speeds it up. Okay, and I'm soaking this boot. It got some sand in it from her using it last night. I'm soaking it here in this hot water. Oh, oh. It doesn't matter if it's wet, right, Lawrence? I don't think so. Okay, I've got paper towel here. And she, if you just let her put her foot down, she'll step right into it. Good, good. The towel helps to keep it clean. Okay, she'll step down. And then you use the... Uh, First, no, first, yeah, you want to get it as tight as you want it with this Velcro, and that's what's beautiful about these Cavallos. Then you use the Velcro buckles to keep it on. And it stayed on all night last night. And you know what? On the other foot, I put the Cavallo on because I wanted her to be even mm -hmm. on both fronts. So we'll do it again. And now, Lawrence, what do I watch for? Uh, what do I worry about? Well, I'd, I'd, I'd do this for a few days. Uh, if it doesn't pop out, then I would just say she's very, very badly bruised. And I know how often their feet get cleaned around here. So 
it's hard to believe it could be like something getting jammed in there and bruising her that badly. Yeah. It's the way she's traveling and either you're going to be stuck wearing these 24-7 or some shoes with pads to get that weight off her sole. Okay. That, that's the other thing. I mean, it'd be nice if it's an abscess. Um, what leads me to think it, it is something brewing in there is the fact that both feet have been going the same place. If one was bruised, the other one should be bruised too. And she's obviously lame on the right, not the left. She is so. to you, obviously. Well, there's no pulse in the left. Okay. Okay, there we go. The Cavallos are on. Now the question is, you know, will she move out? Can you give me the stick? A little uh, arm extension to help me convince her that I want her to move forward. Come on, Sadie. I'm going to use a serpentine to try to get that forward motion. No, I'm not getting smooth steps. Let's see if we come out here to the driveway where there's no hills. Now, Lawrence, I could turn her out across the street in her regular pasture with her two herd mates, or I could let her graze around here alone. Yesterday when we brought Semi back and Sadie was grazing with Eve, Semi kind of chased him around, so we didn't like that. <laughs> what do you think? Um, actually, for both both um, for both founder and bruising, um, circulation is a good thing. <laughs> so uh, being chased around is fine as long as nobody's kicking her or anything. Yeah, yeah. So so then we will go take her across the street. Yeah. You know this becomes a behavioral thing too. She's afraid it's gonna hurt. Oh yeah. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. Uh, uh, uh. You got to keep going. Come on. Okay. Good girl. Now try the other way. Come on. And this is what we didn't show Lawrence on the video yesterday, so he's looking at it himself in a small circle. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. There. She's just uh, up right now. A little bit braver. Put weight. And remember, the Cavallos feel a little weird to her. Did you go small circles in both directions? Yeah. When, when they're when they're foundering very badly, they tend not to want to make turn at all. They kind of put the weight on the hind and spin uh -huh. instead of trying to do the many turns she was doing. Uh huh. That's why I like to see the sharp turns. It really shows off what's hurting <laughs> the okay. most. Okay. And and so what's your conclusion from what you just saw? I'm hoping she's very badly bruised. Okay. Because she didn't yeah. try to spin. Obviously, she doesn't yeah. want to walk out. But some of that is in her her head. Yeah. Um, that should feel better now if she's just bruised, because that pad was pretty thick. That uh -huh. poultice. Uh huh. Pretty thick and spongy. Yeah. So until it starts getting crushed down, that should feel way better. If you're tender-footed, any kind of packing protecting you from Mother Nature is going to feel good for a while. Okay. Now, how long do I leave that on before I change it? Well, that'd be by the directions. When it loses heat, it's not going to work anymore. Uh, if it, it for the abscess part of it. Okay. If there's a chance there's an abscess going there, once it's lost heat, it's it won't be doing anything. Okay. I don't think the um, directions mention how long I should leave it on. It was getting quite warm after you soaked it, so I'm sure it has some life expectancy. Let me look again. Sometimes these directions, you have to be a rocket scientist to understand them. Let's see. Change poultice at least once every 12 hours. Whoa. Huh. So the question is, 
Should we do it again tonight or just wait till tomorrow morning? Yeah, right now, after making it work, you can feel this. Take off your gloves so you can, you can feel that pretty good right there. Yeah. See that little throbbing? Right now, and Lawrence obviously, is obviously they, they teaching have Brianna in how to for some feel reason. for an when irregular sound, pulse. can't feel it. So that's what always check for. Once that's gone and, and she's not loaded on butte, mm -hmm. okay. she's like home safe. <laughs> okay. Is it possible that if there is an abscess there, it will resorb or resolve itself without coming out? Sometimes they can get these little tiny pieces of pea gravel in there and then the hoof heals over it so we can't see it. I carved everywhere, you know, around the lamina where usually the places they work in. Um, because she already is bruised and thin sold, I didn't want to take out much soul because I'd just make her worse. Uh -huh. um, we know it's not a puncture wound, it's not like she stepped on a nail or anything because I would have found that. But it could be some foreign object got in there and is crawling its way around and it finally, you know, got in sensitive tissue where the body's trying to kill it. And uh -huh. that's why there's heat and a pulse going on the foot because the body's fighting back. Uh -huh. um, okay, at the best, bad news is, yes. since we're not positive, it can just be soul sensitivity, just bruising which would be severe and she'd need like shoes and pads or these things like all, all the, the time. time. Yes. Um, if it's an abscess, you do not want to butte uh -huh. because butte's an anti-inflammatory and then the thing will just crawl around it. I've seen people do that and it looks like a worm was crawling around there. It has a harder time finding its own way out. I see. Uh -huh. So. It's almost like you have to let her suffer. You yes. can't you can't butte her because it's it's pretty much, you know either one of those. She could just be very soul sensitive due to bruising. She could conceivably be foundering, but she seems very good on the other leg, so if I'm I guessing see, it's not that they usually go together. You might only have a yeah. pulse in one, but they're usually lame on both. If and I see she's not better by tomorrow morning. Can you check I, email? And we'll, well, I'll be checking my email, yeah, yeah. but I, if it's an abscess, since you, you could, I couldn't even find the dirt pit, yeah. it'll take more than a couple days to come out. It could okay. take up to a week to come out. Uh, up to a week of yeah. this kind of um, behavior. Yes, heat, heat wrapping it all the time. Yeah. And, okay. you, and you can buy, um, I've usually just used, like for horses, they use pneumotizing, but any kind of old Bengay stuff that produces heat. Yes. It's what they used to do with the old track thoroughbreds and then wrap like saran wrap around it, you know, the tight fitting. Yes. Now you can only do that for a few hours at a time, but it really produces a lot of heat. Uh-huh. Um, so for and, today... But it does the same thing they're, they're doing here. They, that's why they've got a plastic backing to it. Cause for, know. for today, should we redo it tonight? It said 12 hours, so... Yeah. Well, actually, you're talking about damn near midnight, so... Yeah. You know, do it... Um, Maybe wait till I'm the sure morning. I'm sure it wouldn't make a huge difference to do it first thing in the morning. Yeah. You know, while you're feeding or something. Okay, now, are we concerned at all about the dampness on that right hoof day after day after day? No, because um, her soles themselves, while I was carving, are very, very hard. Uh huh. And that's why I was kind of worried that if she is bruising, it's actually going through to the bone, because she should just, uh, she's always been a little hoof sensitive when I squeeze. Not like today, she's more, but yeah. she even reacted on the good foot. But she's always done that. Uh -huh. But, you know, maybe she's a little tougher than average and she's always been more sore than what we're seeing. You know, uh -huh. that's, um, okay, she seems to be putting weight on her front right now. Yes. Let's see what she happens. She actually Brianna, has it on there. You can try it? And the other, the other non-founder thing is, uh, since she's off the butte, you know, it's these hind legs aren't slid up. Yes. So we're hoping it's just. I know. I know foot. that founder when, lock. When they start sliding those up, that means they're yeah. trying to get all the weight off the front end. Yeah. If they slide the back legs forward to try to get the weight off the front end, that's to me that's uh, one of the most frightening looks yes. that you can have, besides a horse biting at its belly and not pooping, <laughs> which means colic. <laughs> yes. So okay, every day's a challenge. Let's put the fly mask on and walk her out. I see if she will. Oh, that's all right. We can do that over there. I just want to get it on camera how she walks. As you, uh, in a, the usual manner, take her out to her grazing area, which is catty corner across the street, 
uh, probably about, uh, I don't know, an acre of grass. Shortcut, where she hangs out with her herd mates most of the day. And then tonight, we'll bring her back, reevaluate. Lawrence, can I, if I'm really scared, later on today, how do I reach you? You'll be checking your home recorder. Will you be able to check your email? Um, no, not while I'm on the road. Not till about four today. Not till about four you'll be checking? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there any way you could call me uh, before you head up the hill to your home? If you call on one of your numbers, your name shows up on my thing, and I'll know that she's getting worse. Oh, the 530 number, perhaps? I'm, I'm not sure. You did it You did it once yesterday. Yes, I did it with the 530 number. Okay, because I saw your name when I got back in the truck, but I was heading home, so okay. I just went Okay, all there. right. Lawrence has a, a kind of a weird recorder or a weird, weird cell, and it locks, or maybe it's my number that's blocked. I don't know, but uh, okay. Communication is critical. Um, so I'll be uploading this shortly. Letting my vet know that it's there. Uh, watching Sadie quite a bit. See, even this kind of movement. Ryan, can you get that? She was picking up that right leg, picking up the left leg. Okay, let's try to take her as usual. I'll bring that to you, Brianna. Just worry about, let's see how she moves out. Okay, let's see if we can get her to understand that we're asking for forward motion here. That she should trust us. I'd rather not pull, yeah, I'd rather get her to walk into that lead line. I'm not sure how much she can see with that fly mask. She's going, I see carrots, I know I see that much. They always go, all want to go home with me, see how she's trying to get back to my truck. Now here it's kind of, uh, Hilly, hmm, I don't like that. She's having trouble. But here it's sandy and pretty flat. Moving out better now. But most definitely, Lauren, she's still bobbing her head, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the bad thing about not being able to pinpoint is not, I mean, if I thought this was just bruising, I'd be all for her, and that's you, you could give her. So yes. If we thought it was just bruising, we'd view her. But you know, because we're not sure, it's better just to make her as comfortable as we can without meds and see what the symptoms tell us. Going along here with my arm extension, and if she hesitates, I'll let her know that we're asking for forward motion. She's swishing her tail a bit, it's discomfort too. You know what we'll do? We'll get uh, Sammy, who's the alpha in the herd, we'll get her on one side of the pasture with a closed gate and leave Eve, her mom, with her, so we're pretty sure she's not gonna be chased around. But yet she has the opportunity to move around. grazing on the other side with Sammy. Uh, Sadie doesn't seem to be upset about not having a partner right here next to her. So for a few hours, we'll leave it this way. If there seems to be one horse or the other that's trying real hard to get to the other horse, what they do is they stand at the fence or at the gate and try to tell us with their position that they want to join their herd mate. Well, then we'll let them together. But for now, 
because everybody seems to be happy, we'll just keep an eye on her and we'll let you know if we have any change in our progress, in our prognosis, in our diagnosis. And this is Sonia Soplo, the urban cowgirl, hoping that you find this show interesting, educational, and I hope pleasing if it's a good answer when we're all done with this process of evaluating why Sadie started walking slowly and seems to be favoring her right front. Six of June and it's been uh, two days now that we've been poulticing uh, Sadie's right front. You can see that she's putting a lot of weight on her front legs. Um, oh, I left the poultice off yesterday because I felt that the hooves were getting a little bit too wet and spongy. Now I'm following her here because I want to show you something, a concern. On the right front, I hope Brian can show you this. Yeah, this is swollen right here. We here we can feel uh, the tendon here. It's definitely swollen, but that could be related to the abscess maybe dissipating or the abscess causing that swelling or the abscess interfering with circulation, which does worry me because, you know, I'm trying my hardest to uh, avoid laminitis, which sometimes can be a byproduct of uh, problems like this. But look at her walking. I'm very pleased. When the evening comes today, it's, it's almost, uh, it's around 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, we'll be putting uh, each horse back in their space. I will probably take the poultice off or maybe leave it on until uh, tomorrow morning. Those are decisions I make as I go. Uh, and my biggest concern, as I've said over and over and over again, is to do the right thing so that we can get that abscess, if it is an abscess, out of there and can avoid any complications from laminitis. Uh, we are not giving butte at this time. It is the 28th of June. Four days after the farrier came out to look for the abscess, and lo and behold, there it is. It's coming out through the hairline. Brianna's pointing to it right now. Sadie has been doing very well. Uh, in the last 24 hours, the swelling went away in her upper, in her, uh, above her ankle. And now, it looks like we have confirmed the abscess in her right front. Our cast of characters, Sadie and Eve. Sammy. Rusty and Susie. Heifer calf, Sela. For more information, triple W. Cowgirl Channel. Dot com.